Hello get traders, you're welcome back to another edition of indicator based trading strategies for crypto futures market and in today's video I want to show you a very powerful indicator I discovered on tradingview.com this indicator literally gives you the long time directional bias of your chart whatever asset you're trading in the futures market this is going to help you a lot and let me show you how to go about using this indicator so if you're new to the channel you're welcome guys if you don't have an account with get.io simply use the link provided in the description and create your own account with get.io so you can have access to a plethora of assets so this indicator is called volume buoyancy and this indicator uses past data to give you the overall volume of buyers and sellers in the market which gives you the overall directional bias of where the asset is going whether it's going bullish or bearish so let's get into that if you're trading long time like the daily time frame the weekly time frame this is going to be really really handy for you so let me go into showing you how to set up this indicator and showing you everything about it so we can simply come to indicators and search for volume buoyancy it's called volume buoyancy this is the indicator this one created by someone lock f you click on it and it's going to appear on your chart so you can learn more about buoyancy you can check it buoyancy is actually a physics term that used to describe the forces responsible for holding a body over a surface of your water you can check more on that but this is the term we brought into our trading speed so we can use it for our own advantage so this is the indicator if you come to settings you're going to actually see some serious data right here like the buoyancy the mli channel and this indicator is designed based on some technical terms that you can actually see right here you can select the one that suits your trading style and then the target bars is 20 bars over time so i want to leave it at 20 that is the default setting because that is enough for me if i make it less this volume buoyancy is going to be very very noisy it's going to chuck up in one place and if you make it more it is going to space out and you're going to see it very large so i want to leave it at the default setting that is target bars to 20 and i want to enable the ma line i will show you why i need this subsequently as we go into explaining this indicator so i will simply enable the ma line and if you want to learn more about this indicator you can actually check the script from trading view platform so you can know more about this particular indicator so this is exactly what we want to use as you can see this is the buoyancy and we can see this is bounded by two line and a middle line this middle line is the zero line which we want to use very very significantly so look at what is happening the ma line is crossing above the zero line and then we are having a bullish run over some few weeks which is from here to here and this is the daily time frame so if you're using any strategy this will give you an idea of where the market is going over time as soon as you see this ma line crossing above the zero and then you can actually see that your volume buoyancy is also crossing above we have a confluence right here this is not a sell or buy indication or a signal this is actually telling you where the directional bias is going for a while so you can even use this for your spot market if you're trading short time you can buy and hold that particular asset so you can actually see that from here we had this movement from here to here and then we can actually see this happening time and again look at this after this crossing right above this zero line but the volume buoyancy and the ma line has crossed this middle line that is the zero line and we had a long time movement from here to here now the difference between this ma line and volume line crossing the zero level is right here if you see the volume buoyancy crossing below the ma line you can see the ma that is the moving average is crossing below which is supposed to give us an indication for a sell bias but this is a false signal we only want to use this information when we see these two crosses above the zero line or below not only when we have the volume buoyancy crossing below the ma line okay i hope you understand what i meant by that so there are situations you can actually see where the there is a crossing over right here like this one at this level we had a short term downtrend from here to here which we have seen right here this volume you know buoyancy crossing below the ma line which is this one and we had this movement many people will use this as an information to sell or buy but that is not what we are targeting we only use the information when we see 
both of them crossing below the zero line or crossing above the zero line so like we have right here this both of them are crossing above the zero line right here and then we had a complete upward movement for almost a month in this particular asset so you can use these as an indicator for a long time trading checklist so you can have an idea of where the trend is going so i hope this particular video is helpful enough for you guys to learn how to check the long time bias of whatever asset you're trading in the market so you can use this indicator to trade any kind of strategy you're trading like the most recent data we have right here let me just bring it to the most recent data so you can actually see that we have crossed above the zero line but so we are expecting a bullish run for a while okay so it is from this information that we want to be bullish over the time in the market so guys this is all about this indicator and i hope it is helpful enough for all of you guys that are watching this video and if you have not yet subscribed to this channel be sure you do that quickly so you can have access to enough information from us thank you guys for watching see you in the next video